yeah. Anyways, I'm going to make successfully defending against a crusade a primary target of this series, which means we're going to need to thrust ourselves in a position where the Pope is going to want to call a crusade against us. Now, of course, Jerusalem is a bit of an obvious target, the Kingdom of Jerusalem. But if we really want them to get angry at us, we need to get something that's much, much more important to them. To the Christians, that is. Now, the kingdoms of Italy and Greece have very high priority for being targets of crusades should they fall out of Christian hands because of Rome, the base of the papacy in Constantinople, base of the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople. So yeah, those... Those two kingdoms are of the most paramount importance. But something that would also call the ire of the Christians is if we get any of the Carolingian kingdoms. France, Lotharingia, L Lotharingia, however the fuck it's pronounced, Frisia, Germany, Burgundy, Aquitaine, Bavaria, all of them are very important. I'm not sure if Saxony is. I actually haven't looked up the that data since they came out with the uh, with the Charlemagne DLC. <clears throat> but yeah, this entire part of Europe is incredibly important to the Christians, and if I can control one of these kingdoms, they will very likely target me with a crusade. I mean, a lot of the other kingdoms in the vicinity, such as England, also very important for crusades, but not nearly as. Also, I imagine grabbing a holy site, a Catholic holy site, would be good for getting a crusade, like, for instance, Koln. And since that's the most accessible, the other options are Kent in England, Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, Rome in Italy, and, uh, and Jerusalem. in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Colm seems like our best shot. So we're going to want to work our way there and into the Carolingian Empire. And since the Carolingian Empire is fucking powerful, we're going to want to be prepared. Again, I want to reform both the government and the religion. <coughs> so that will be my goal. <coughs> And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should do. Honestly, you know what would be a very good thing for this run? Turn Rome Remova. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Sweden is expanding into the Baltics. I was about to say the Balkans. Balkans are down here. Hello there, my Balkan friends. How are you doing? Bulgaria, are you still losing your war? It would appear not. I don't know why I even asked that question. I could plainly see that the war was over. But there's still occupation from... Really? Rashka? You're being attacked by Serbia.
And you're losing to them. But what war is this anyways? You're trying to subjugate Bulgaria. Well, um... Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, you'll notice that Bulgaria is Tengri rather than Slavic. The modern-day Bulgarians are Slavs, but it's not the modern-day Bulgarians living here, even though for some reason it says they are, and that they're Tengri. That is... wait... Why the hell are the Vlach Slavic? That's not right. I mean, the game considers them to be a self-Slavic culture. I mean, the Vlach are not Slavs. But I can see why someone would decide to group them in with the Slavs. Uh, they've been in contact with Slavs for for centuries, and a lot of the culture is rubbed off. Again, they're not Slavs, and they should not be of the Slavic religion, or the Sla Rodnoveri. They should not be Rodnoveri. They should be... Uh... Fuck. Uh, fuck, what was I saying? Yeah, they, they should not be Rodnoveri. If they were pagan right now, they should be the, um... That old Dacian religion. Which I can't remember the neo-pagan movement's name, like Zalmoxianism or something. It, it had Z's or X's, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and it was a long name. But yeah, it, it should be that for the Vlach. Not, not Slavic, because again, the Vlach were not Slavs. Romania is glorious Latin. Not filthy Slav. And, uh, just to clarify... That is a reference to Poland Ball. But while... Romanians, and that's what the Vlach is, is Romanian. They decided to use the term Vlach in this game. It's not incorrect, technically. Vlach is a blanket term for the Eastern Romance languages, Romania being the vast most predominant of them. Although I assume here these would be getting close to the... Greek Vlach, who are called Air Romanians, but you know, whatever. Eastern Romance, the Vlach are basically those are Romanians. That's even the um, the name that they are given in the game files, which is Romanian, but you know, they're not Slavs, they're actually descended from the Dacians who are an Indo-European people of... Well, basically they were uh, one of the ancient tribal cultures, along with the... One of the ancient cultures of the Balkans alongside the Thracians in Thrace, the Illyrians, in basically what can be equated to Yugoslavia, and, uh, the Greeks, of course, who are the only ones to survive. Well, I mean, technically, the... Um... 
The Illyrians are survived by their successors, the Albanians, and the Dacians by their successors, the Romanians. Okay, so we're at 97%. Tell me, any chance that you will surrender, you will. Just a minute, there's a lot of people in the war, they're almost all on my side. Do you accept these terms of defeatings? Also, if you don't give up Bryansk, I'm probably gonna have to take that from you. Just saying. So, do you accept our generous offer? Please tell me I got Bryansk. Is that... No! Oh, you fucker. You absolute fucker. You still fucking have the holy site. Oh, but it still counts for reformation. So the last one we need to take is Arcona. And wow, look at our troops. We really took a lot of casualties during that war. Whatever, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Time to, uh... Time to... Time to create some new... Vassals must be my religion, must be my culture, must be men because they're the only ones I'm allowed to give them to, not a ruler, do not want to give any rulers any land, and let us Marshal of Yatvinji. Tell you what, you may have. Ruslavl and uh, however the fuck you pronounce that. Next guy. Okay, you are that guy. Next guy is you. I'm gonna give you Chernigov. Okay, factions. You're dead to me. What the hell I gave you? Ambitious? Fuck. Ah, uh, nah. Let's see if we can plot to revoke Bryansk. Oh, uh, we cannot. We could plot to revoke Pudlassi, but you know what? Nah. Coronia is looking pretty damned good, if I do say so myself. Although, I think I just got another... Duchy title, didn't I? Chernigov, Smolensk. I got two more. Well, I've got a lot of duchy titles. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I think that's about enough for today. I am Lord Ravenwork. This has been great, and I will see you all later.